The following is a live presentation of Retro Sports Network, home of the champions of the past, present, and or future. Hi there, it's Ryan. It's Wednesday at noon Eastern, 9 Pacific, on this 25th day of May, 20 to 22, that we think that we have a preview for you of the National League Championship Series. So on a Friday night in Los Angeles, it is the Los Angeles Dodgers and the St. Louis Cardinals. The Dodgers are going to go with Bob Welch. He is 3-1 and one on the replay with an under on average just over two in this 85 year of the pitcher. The Dodgers come in at 54-32 and 32 with the comfortable lead over the Houston Astros. The St. Louis Cardinals have pretty much won the National League East. If this was an election, we'd call it for them already. They're 13 and a half games up on the second place Expos. The Mets never really came back from Port St. Lucie. They are well back in the field. And the Cardinals now in their 87th game are just counting the time, you would think, until they get to the playoffs. Oh, by the way, when your third starter is Danny Cox, you got a pretty good rotation to go along with John Tudor, who's probably going to win the National League Cy Young, and Joaquin Andohar. So it is the Cardinals and the Dodgers on a beautiful Chamber of Commerce night in Los Angeles. You ready? So am I. As Retro Sports Network presents Major League Replay 1985. Tonight, from Dodger Stadium in Los Angeles, it is the Los Angeles Dodgers and the St. Louis Cardinals. And today's game is brought to you by DigitalDice.com, the best darn podcast on the web for your sports simulation and replay needs. Find us today on Spreaker, Spotify, iTunes, or wherever else fine podcasts are listed. Helps if I hit the right buttons. So it is Bob Welch who is kind of the forgotten man of this Dodger staff that gets the call the second game after the All-Star break. He's 3-1 and one with an earn run average of 2-2-2, two, 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 making only his eighth start of the year. 29 years old, ground ball pitcher, fastball pitcher, but it tops out at 86. He has made one start against St. Louis, and that came on July 6th, a seven-inning win when the Dodgers pounded the Cardinals 15-7, to but he wasn't that great in it. Six runs all earned over seven innings, and then his last start was against the Cubs on July 11th, a 4-3 complete game win where he allowed six hits, three runs all earned. And a homer. He walked two and struck out five. Injured in April, he jo rejoined the rotation for the Dodgers back on June 5th. So 56 and two thirds innings for Mr. Welch. 39 hits, 16 runs, 14 earned. He's given up four homers. He's walked 13 and struck out 30. And so here is a lineup he'll face. Vince Coleman leads off in left field. Willie McGee, who leads the National League in hitting, will play center and bat second as you hear the chainsaws behind me. Tommy Herr at second will bat third. Jack Clark cleans up at first. Thumper Andy Van Slyke in right field will bat fifth. Terry Pendleton at third will go sixth. It's the Wizard, Ozzie Smith at short, batting seventh. Tom Nieto behind the plate bats eight, and Danny Cox on the hill should go about 125 pitches, will bat nine. Defensively for the Dodgers, they just never got this outfield thing figured out, did they? It's poor Len Matuzic in left field. He was a DH, if you remember, for Toronto just a few weeks ago. Now he's a left fielder for the Dodgers. Is he good? Not really. A six range and a ramen noodle arm of one. Kenny Landro is a four and a two in center. Mike Marshall kind of the best of the bunch in right. He's a three and an eight. The infield is mediocre at best. Dave Anderson a seven at third. Mariano Duncan a five at short. Steve Sachs a five at second. And Greg Brock a six at first. Mike Sosha behind the plate a seven and a six. 
and Bob Welch going on a sentimental with a sentimental lady as the seven on the mound on the 9.33 fielding percentage. With, with the speedy Coleman at the plate, the Dodgers play in on the corners. Vince at 2.69, a homer, and 25 RBI. He has stolen 54 bases on the year. And so Welch starts this one with a line drive into right field for a base hit, and Marshall will pick it up. Here's Willie McGee, Willie at 358, six homers and 42 RBI. Throw to first, and Coleman is back and is now pretty much guaranteed to steal the base. So you have the top two offensive teams in the National League and the top two pitching teams in the National League going at it. Almost the irresistible force facing the immovable object. Coleman goes, they pitch out. The throw to Duncan is, of course, not in time. And for Coleman, that's his 55th steal of the year. So Welch works on McGee now. Willie hits a small chopper over the mound. Duncan comes in, throws to Brock for the out. Coleman, of course, can go to third. And there's one out for Tommy Herr. Tommy at 303, two homers, and 51 RBI. Welch has only thrown three pitches. Pitch to her. There's a little looper in the left field. Matuzic will play that on a hop. Coleman will score. And her is now going to be in a position to steal. It's 1 0 St. Louis. Brings up Jack Clark. Jack's going to miss some time. He only has 130 at-bats left for the rest of the season. Although he technically doesn't get put on the DL. Having a good year. The All-Star at 283. 12 homers and 53 RBI. Welch throws over to Brock, and her is back. And now he can focus on Clark. one nothing St. Louis, just the start of things here in Los Angeles. Clark swings, popped up, left side. Anderson makes the catch. Two out. So here's Andy Van Slyke. Andy at 262, four homers, and 31 RBI. Again, a throw to first, and her is back. Cardinals, of course, have speed and speed to burn. That was the Whitey Herzog mantra in the 80s. Her stays put. Van Slyke hits this one in the left center. That's going to get down in front of Matusik. Tommy will motor on to third, I would imagine. And Matuzic will try it. There'll not be really a play at third as her slides in under the tag. And the cards have two on and two out for Terry Pendleton. Terry at 229, no homers, and 34 RBI. Ball four. So Welch has kind of lost the script here in the first. They are loaded for Ozzie Smith. Ozzie at 268, three homers and 45 RBI. It's her on third, Van Slyke on second, Pendleton on first. Pitch to Ozzie. Popped up. Sosha. Back to the screen. I don't think he's got room. And, yep, he does. How about that? So right up against the fence, he makes the catch, and the Cardinals leave him loaded. They do get a run, however, on three hits and no errors. They leave on three, believe it or not, and after half an inning, 
It's St. Louis 1. Here come the Dodgers. And as we said, when Danny Cox, who's 26 years old, a fastball pitcher, 87, and a fly ball pitcher, is your number three starter, you got something pretty good. He's made two starts against the Dodgers this year, and he's 2-0. 17 innings, 16 hits, five runs all earned. He's walked seven, struck out nine, and is 2-0 and with an earned run average of 265. His last start was against the Padres before the break, so last Saturday. A no decision in a 3-2 victory for St. Louis. Seven innings, 119 pitches, five runs, two or five hits, two runs, both earned. He walked two and struck out nine. So overall for Danny, 145 in the third innings, 140 hits, 50 runs, 48 earned, eight homers allowed. He hasn't given up one since June 20th. 49 walks and 83 strikeouts. So it'll be Dave Anderson leading off for the Los Angeles Dodgers at third base. Mariano Duncan at short will bat second. Kenny Landro in center will go third. Greg Brock cleans up at first. Mike Marshall in right will bat fifth. Len Matusik, that project, will play left and bat sixth. Mike Sosha behind the plate will go seventh. Steve Sachs at second, batting eighth. And Bob Welch threw 22 pitches in his half of the first and will bat ninth. Vince Coleman a five and an eight and left. Willie McGee an eight and a seven in center as we set up the St. Louis defense. Andy Van Slyke. A four and a nine and right. Terry Pendleton a nine at third. Ozzy Smith a nine at short. Tommy Hur a five at second. Jack Clark a six at first. Tom Nieto is a five and a seven behind the plate. And Danny Cox is a seven on the mound with a nine sixty four fielding percentage. And yep, Mr. Howard, that could have been worse and should have been worse. How you doing, Zalapsky Smurf? And now it's time for Cardinal Baseball. Anderson at 200, three homers and 16 RBI. Cox starts his night with a foul off the mask of Nieto. So Tom shakes it off, and it's a one-strike count. 83 degrees here in Los Angeles. The wind's blowing in from right center at 6. And since it's a night game, it is a big pitcher's park here. Overlooking the San Gabriels. Pitch to Anderson. Ball four. So Cox loses Anderson. A 3-1 fastball high and away. And that'll bring up Mariano Duncan. Duncan at 254. Three homers and 26 RBI. In the center field, McGee doesn't even have to move. One out. How you doing, Steeler fan? Steeler fan bringing his Budweiser, Bush, and all his Cardinal material to Dodger Stadium today. Not sitting next to D. Scott Howard. Landro at 318. Kenny has 12 homers and 49 RBI. In the right center. In comes McGee and Willie. Will make the catch. Anderson retreats back to first. Of course, the Cardinal, I mean, the Dodgers serve Budweiser as well. Greg Brock at 274, 14 homers and 41 RBI. It's, you know, you rem remember certain things about certain years. I've completely forgotten just how bad as a unit the Dodgers' outfield was. They can hit, but they can't. I mean, they had Bill Russell out in the left field for part of the season. Throw to first, Anderson not going anywhere. Pitch to Brock. Up the middle, and that's a base hit in front of McGee. Anderson has good speed. But we'll hold a second with two out. Here's Mike Marshall, 278, 15 homers, and 40 RBI.
Marshall lines this one to third, and Pendleton drops it. And he caught it. It never hit the ground. It hit off the back of Pendleton's glove. Somehow he deflects it up in the air, and he made the catch right at knee-top level. To get out of the jam, the Dodgers leave on two. No runs a hit and no errors. Wow. I thought that was going to be an error. After one, Cardinals one, Dodgers nothing. So Diego Cox and Coleman to face Welch. Bob does not look all that happy in that picture, does he? Nieto at 204, no homers, two triples, and 15 RBI. Welch starts the second, struck him out. A curve on a 1 2 for strike three looking. That brings up Cox. No one's ever going to accuse Danny of being a good hitter. Hitting 0 98 on the replay with three RBI. Ground ball to Sacks. Steve throws to first for the out. Here's Coleman. Vince singled and stole a base and scored the lone run in the first. Welch, 28 pitches over his first nine, inning in the inning in two thirds. Three hits, a walk, and a strikeout. The run is earned. Two out here in the second. Welch winds and deals. Coleman hits a slow ground ball. Sacks almost on the grass. Throws to first. And Coleman is retired. So the Cardinals go in order. No runs, no hits, no errors. We go to the bottom of the second. one nothing, St. Louis. So here's Matuzic. Lenny only would get 63 at-bats with the Dodgers. But right now, it's a honeymoon phase. Three for seven on a year or, uh, since the trade for Al Oliver and company. He's hit two home runs and driven in six. Cox starts the second with a line drive to third. Pendleton snares it, one out. So here's Socha, 278, no home runs. And 25 RBI. So when you hit seven on a year and none in the first half, even Karnak said you'd be due. Pitch. Well, it's a ground ball base hit left side. Coleman picks it up. Socha takes that long turn around and goes back. Second hit for the Dodgers. Here's Steve Sachs, 263. A homer. And 15 RBI. Pitch from Cox. Struck him out. He got him to look on a 1-2 fastball. So that brings up Bob Welch. And with two outs, he's going to have to swing. He is 2 for 18 on the replay. That's 111. With a walk and eight strikeouts. Ground ball to third. That's a slow bounder. Pendleton goes for the, across the way. And Welch is out by an eyelash. So they get him on the bang banger. No runs a hit. They leave a runner on. We go to the third. It's one nothing St. Louis. So here's Willie McGee. Willie at three. Oh, Willie's 0 for 1. I already gave you that. Sitting on a 15-game hitting streak. I mean, if this is the National League Championship Series, you'd have Tudor and probably Fernando in Game 1. And O'Hara and Hershiser in Game 2. And this would be the Game 3 matchup, you would think. It would be Welch and Cox. Although Danny got the game one start in the World Series in Kansas City in real life. Pitch to McGee. There's a high fly ball to right, and that ball is gone. So a team that is not known for its power doubles its lead on a solo shot from Willie McGee. And he now has hit in 16 straight games. McGee just ripped that one 
into right center. And the few Cardinal fans watching are just kind of smiling. The Dodger fans are grabbing their Malditos. Here's her. Tommy singled and drove home the first run of the ball game in the first. Ground ball to Duncan. Mariano throws to first. And that's two out. Or one out. So Welch in that bad pitch and it found the seats. Here's Clark. Jack's 0 for 1. Got him. There's a 1-2 fastball and it caught the inside part. So Welch has two out. I wonder if Pickle Rick girl's on the day. Van Slyke sends this one to right. Marshall makes the catch. And that will retire the side. No one run. One hit, no errors. We go to the bottom of the third. It's the Cardinals, two, the Dodgers, nothing. So it'll be Dave Anderson, Mariano Duncan, and Kenny Landro. Cox is opening nine, not a neat and tidy 39 pitches. He's through two scoreless innings. He's allowed two hits, a walk, and a strikeout. Anderson walked to start the game. Got him. So he comes back with an 0-2 fastball at the knees for strike three. That's two for Danny. And that brings up Duncan. Mariano is 0 for 1. Ground ball to Smith. The wizard throws to first, and that is out. A fantastic play by Ozzie. He went very deep in the hole and made one of his turning, running throws and got the speedy Duncan out by an eyelash. And so Smith turned that into a bang-banger. So two out for Landro. Dodger fans are being awful quiet today. Kenny is 0 for 1. Ground ball to first. Clark to the bag himself. And that will retire the side. Dodgers go in order. We go to the fourth inning. A fast one here at the stadium. 2 nothing Cardinals. So here's Pendleton. Terry walked his first time up. Pitch from Welch. Ground ball to Duncan. One out. Here's Ozzie Smith. Ozzie's 0 for 1. Well, it's from the line. In the right, Marshall doesn't even have to move for the out. That brings up Nieto, who struck out his first time up. Cardinals are running the first, are running the third. Four hits, two runs. Nieto swings. That's going to go over the mound. Duncan on the grass in front of the bag at second. Over to first. That's in time. And Welch gets him in order. No runs, no hits, no errors. Bottom four, 2 nothing. St. Louis. So here are the standings. Dodgers six and a half up on the Astros. They both lost their first game coming out of the break. Reds in third at 42 and 44. Then the Padres, the Giants, and the Braves. We've won five straight, by the way. How you doing, Big Dave 1174? The Cardinals are 60 and 26. And outside of the Red Sox, they had the best run differential in all of baseball. Montreal hanging in at 49 and 40. And Pittsburgh, the Mets, the Cubs have fallen off the wagon. And the Phillies are waiting for the Eagles. The American League West, Kansas City's lead has been rubbed down to a game and a half. 
over California, Oakland, and Chicago. Oakland's run differential, by the way, is minus 42. But that division's bad enough. I could see Oakland hanging in there. And in the East, Toronto has gone the wrong way. And they are just a half game up on the Red Sox, depending on what happens today. If the Red Sox beat the Angels and the Oakland beats Toronto, then Boston would be in first place. The Yankees have are now within three and a half, and Detroit and Baltimore are within four and a half. So that's a five-team melee in the American League East. White Sox are within five in the American League West. There's four teams within five games of each other there. Brock singled his first time up. Two and nothing Cardinals. Struck him out. So for Cox, that's his third strikeout. He got him swinging on the fastball. So here's Mike Marshall. Mike's 0 for 1. In the left field. Coleman. For the out. Two out. Brings up Matuzic. Len is 0 for 1. You guys are a chatty bunch today. Pitch from Cox. Popped up. Center field. McGee makes the catch. And that will retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors. We go to the fifth here at Dodger Stadium. A pitcher's duel. It's 2 nothing St. Louis. So Cox, Coleman, and McGee for St. Louis to face Welch. Danny is 0 for 1. Ground ball to sack. Steve finds the bullseye in Brock's glove, and there's one out. So Welch is opening 18, four and a third innings, four hits. The solo home run to Willie McGee. He walked one and struck out two. Coleman singled, stole a base, and scored, so he's one for two. Got him. So Welch got him to look at a 1-2 fastball for strike three. So two out for McGee, who homered. Willie actually had 10 homers in 85. One for two. That homer was his seventh of the replay. He's now driven in 43 and scored 58 times. That's a ground ball base hit left side past Duncan. And for St. Louis, that's their fifth hit. McGee can steal. He is stolen 34. But he's not really in the position to do so now, especially with two out and her. Tom is one for two, a single and RBI. Got him. And that will retire the side. No runs, a hit, no errors. Halfway home on a Wednesday afternoon in Los Angeles. It's the Cardinals two, the Dodgers nothing. So if you join us late, here's how we got here. Tribe fan, overtime done for the week. I never trust those notifications. Midlife crisis. You're better late than never. And if you join us late, here's how we got here. Cardinals sent seven to the plate in the first. Tommy Hurry singled home Vince Coleman after Coleman singled and sold second. Mega one nothing St. Louis. Then Willie McGee puts his hitting streak up to 16 with a solo shot in the third to make it 2 nothing. Outside of that, Danny Cox and Bob Welch have done quick work. Cox, a two-hitter through four. 
And Welch has given them five hits through five in the two runs. Two runs, five hits for St. Louis. And the Dodgers have just been held to two hits. Here's Sosha. Mike singled his first time up. Clock starts the bottom of the fifth with another base hit. So Sosha is two for two. Van Slyke will throw it back in. And that'll bring up Sack. Steve struck out his first time up. He's over one. Ground ball, pass her. That's a base hit. The Dodgers got something cooking here in the fifth. So first and second, nobody out for Welch. And you better believe that Pendleton and Clark are playing in. So Welch will, well, after Nieto talks to Clark, Welch will oblige. The bunt is down. Nieto only has a play at first. Her goes to cover the bag. And that's a sack bunt. So it goes 2-4 on the sacrifice. Dave Anderson, who has walked and struck out to the plate. Sosha on third, Sacks on second. Cox is opening 18 on 68 pitches. Four in the third innings, four hits. A walk and three strikeouts. Popped up Nieto to the screen. And the Dodgers catch a break because that is out of play. Cheese man, seven, 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 seven. Sounds like something you do to get to someone's voicemail. Is our newest follower. And HHHPP97 followed us yesterday. So they are now part of the 227 followers on Twitch. Anderson, as we said, has walked and struck out. He's got the tying run in sacks in scoring position. And that's a high fly ball right field. Van Slyke will run over into right center. Sosha goes back to tag. And it's now a 2-1 ball game. Sacks will hold on the sack fly. What's up? And at our age, Dave, what you doing? Chilling, drinking some water, playing a game. Mariano is 0 for 2. Sacks on second, two out. Ground ball to third. Pendleton's got it over across the way, and that will retire the side. But the Dodgers get on the board on a sack fly. One run, two hits, they leave a runner on. We go to the sixth. Two to one, St. Louis. So Clark, Van Slyke, and Pendleton. For those of you who were a little older than I was in 1985, what injury did Jack Clark have? Because Clark had that big home run in Game 6 against the Dodgers to send the Cardinals to the World Series, but I had forgotten that Jack really didn't play in the World Series. Of course, they didn't have Vince Coleman either. Pitch to Clark. Line drive, left field. That's going to bounce around the corner. Matuzic will go and grab it. Anderson should have had it. Clark's going to have two of these. And St. Louis is trying to pick up that run. 16th double of the year for Clark. Decent throw by Matuzic. Almost had him. And that will bring up Van Slyke. Andy singled one for two. Fly ball, left field. Matusik. Out of play. Somebody from Long Beach made that catch. And the count is two and two to Van Slyke. Welch trying to hold us to a one-run game. That won't help. That's a base hit in the center field. Landro will pick it up. Clark will round third and hold. And the cards have runners on the corners and nobody out for Terry Pendleton is 0 for 1 with a walk. Seven hits now for St. Louis, four for Los Angeles. Welch and Sosha get together. Bob fires 
And there's a ground ball to third. They might get two out of this. Anderson to sacks for a one. And there's no throw to first. Clark will score. Sacks had trouble getting it out of his hand. He tried to pivot, and when he went to throw the ball, he realized it was not in his hand. And Pendleton, with good speed, is on first without a throw. And the Cardinals go up 3-1. to one. So that brings up Ozzie Smith. The Cardinals, in game 87, are looking for win 61. The Dodgers... In game 87, want win 55. Steeler fan with his buggy whips is hoping for a St. Louis win. Pitch to Ozzy. There's a slow ground ball over the mound. Duncan throws to first, and that will retire the Wizard. So two out. Pendleton moves to second. Ball was hit too hard to try and turn to. And I think the Dodgers made the right decision to get Smith. Here's the 8 -0. Tom is 0 for 2 with a strikeout. Big run in for the Cards here in the 6. 3 to 1, St. Louis. And the 8 -0 gets hit. That got him in the ribs. The 8 -0, not a happy camper. Cox. With two out, very tentative digging in. Welch has not thrown a lot of walks. He's only walked one. Pitch to Cox. Danny swings into left, but Tuzik comes in. And that will retire the side. One run for St. Louis. That's a biggie. On two hits, the Cardinals leave on two. Bottom six, three, one, St. Louis. So Landro, Brock, and Marshall to face Cox here in the sixth. Ken is 0 for 2. Ground ball to first. Clark, one out. Brings up Brock. Greg is 1 for 2. He has singled and struck out. And this time he skies one in the right center. But the wind now blowing in from center will blow that one right in the waiting glove of Willie McGee. Brings up Mike Marshall. Mike is 0 for 2. Cox winds and deals. Slow ground ball to third. Pendleton lets it roll foul. And it's 0 and 2. This one, gang, feels like a game from October, doesn't it? That's gone. Ripped down the line and left, and it's a one-run ball game. The only question for Marshall there is, would it stay fair? And he hooked it around the pole for his 16th of the year. So it's now 3-2 St. Louis. There wasn't anything Vince Coleman was going to do about that. It was just a question of whether it would, which side of that pole it would stay on. But 2 6 0 for 2. I hit the button too fast. Ground ball to first. Clark to the bag. And that will retire the side. Dodgers get a big run on the solo shot from Mike Marshall. Uh, one hit, no errors, no one left. Go to the seventh, three, two, St. Louis. Try not to all speak at once, gang. So Bob Welch will get a quality start from this. And if you're wondering what a quality start is, you throw six innings and give up only three earned runs or less, which means that your ERA... For a quality start is four and a half. But that's what Welch has done today. 93 pitches, six innings, seven hits, the home run to McGee. He has walked one and struck out four. Coleman struck, strikes out. 
He got him to swing and miss on a curve. So that's five for Bob. Here's McGee. He has singled and homered his seventh of the year. And right now, that's the difference in a 3-2 St. Louis lead. In the left, Matusik for the out. So there's two out for her. Tommy, one for three. He has singled, driven in his 52nd run of the year, and struck out. Welch winds and deals. Little ground ball to the mound. Welch steps off, throws to Sacks, covering, and that ball is thrown off the bag. So a bad throw by Welch, and that's an E1. That's not on Sacks. Sacks normally does not play first. Brock went to back Sacks up when he saw Steve go to the bag, and Welch threw a ball. So a two-out error, and that brings up Jack Clark. Jack one for three, a double, a run scored, and a strikeout. So two out here in the seventh in a one-run game. Clark swings, ground ball to Sacks, throws to first, stretch time, 3-2. So we go to the bottom of the seventh in a 3-2 St. Louis lead. Three runs, seven hits, no errors for the Cardinals. They've left on seven. Two runs, five hits, an error for the Dodgers. And they've left on four. Sosha, who's two for two. Sachs and Welch are Welch's spot here in the seventh. Cox starts the inning with another base hit. So Sosha has owned the Cardinals. And he is a tying run for Steve Sachs. Steve has singled and struck out. Ground ball to first. Clark takes it to the bag. Sosha moves to second. And now Tommy Lasorda needs to make the decision on what to do with Welch. Pitch count wise, he can stay in the ball game. And so as we sing, who can hit a righty? You take Pedro Guerrero off the bench and bring him in. He does not have a pinch hit. He's hitting 300 overall. 18 homers and 49 RBI. So Sosha, the tying run on second. Guerrero with power of his own. Looking to move with the runner at least up 90. Cox fires. That is in the center field. McGee makes the catch. And Sosha has to hold. That was a laser beam to center. And it was hit so hard that Sosha didn't have the chance to tag. It was right in McGee's glove. Here's Anderson. Dave has walked and struck out. Shaq Fly, he's 0 for 1. Cox is opening 27 on 99 pitches. Six and two thirds, six hits. The home run to Marshall. He has walked one and struck out three. Cox deals, popped up, left side. Ozzy on the grass to retire the side. The Dodgers don't get anything. No runs, a hit, and no errors. Pitching change for Los Angeles. We go to the A, 3-2 St. Louis.
So lefty switchy switchy. So there'll be a double switch. Carlos Diaz, the lefty, comes in. He'll bat in the sixth hole. The Dodgers want to keep Pedro Guerrero's bat in the lineup. Pedro is a four and a five and left. Diaz is five and one on the replay with a 178 ERA. And 35 and a third innings. Well, let's say he's his 28th appearance of the year. Fastball pitcher at 91. 27 years old and a ground ball pitcher. Five appearances against the Cardinals coming in. Five innings. Three hits and six strikeouts. No record and no ERA. He pitched last night. But just threw five pitches in the Cardinal win. He struck out a man through two-thirds of an inning. So in 35 and a third innings, 21 hits, seven runs all earned. The one home run came back on June 17th against the Padres. He has walked 12 and struck out 27. So let's see what the Cardinals do with Van Slyk. Andy is two for three with two singles but does not hit lefties well. And so they are forced to bring in Tito Landrum. Tito at 356, three homers and 15 RBI. And as a pinch hitter, hitting 316. Pitch to Landrum, struck him out. So one, two, fastball, strike three called. Brings up Pendleton, will have to hit right-handed. Terry is 0 for two. He has walked and driven in his 35th base. Diaz deals, struck him out. A one-two curve, swung on and missed. So it's a good morning and a good afternoon from Carlos Diaz. If Ozzy Smith strikes out, it's a good night. And Ozzy is only fan 14 times this year. He's 0 for 3 today. He walked him. So all that, and here's the 8 Tom O'Reilly is 0 for 2 with a strikeout. Two outs here in the 8th. Top of the 8th, rather. 3-2 St. Louis. Ozzy stays put. Ground ball is short. Duncan over to the second for the easy fours. And that will retire the side. So, the Cardinals, no runs, no hits, no errors. We go to the eighth, bottom of the eighth here at Dodger Stadium. 3-2 St. Louis. So, it'll be Duncan, Landro, and Brock to face Cox. Mariano is 0-3 for 3 today. Now he's 0-4 for 4 as Cox got him to look at a 1-2 fastball at the belt. Brings up Landro. Kenny is 0 for 3. Cox winds and fires. Base hit right field. In the corner. Landrum, who's a 4 and a 4, picks it up. Landro has 2. He might be digging for 3rd. Is he going to go? He is. The throw from her. And that's a lead off or a one out triple for Kenny Landro. I have fully recovered, thank you. So the Dodgers now have the tying run on third with one out. And the infield is playing for a play at the plate. Someone want to give the paddles to Mr. Howard? Here's Brock. Greg is one for three. He has singled and struck out. So it's nail-biting time in Los Angeles. Pitch to Brock. Gets away from the 8-0. Here comes the tying run in Landro. The curve ball was in the dirt, and the 8-0 lost it. And so that goes down as a pass ball, and this game is tied at three. 
So one out for Brock. There we go. I wondered what happened to you. A 2-2 count to Brock. Both teams, three runs, seven hits. Fox deals. In the right center, McGee. Two out. In fact, he makes a great catch against the wall. So two out for Marshall. Mike one for three. His homer, I think, made it two to one in the fifth. Nope, made it three two in the sixth. So this game is tied. Marshall hit a 16th, a laser shot down the line and left. Cox fires. Ground ball, left side, base hit. So the Dodgers had the go ahead run on. And now got a pinch hit for Diaz. So here comes Enos Cabell. Does not have a pinch hit as a hitter. He is 11 for 18 since coming over from the Astros. He has three doubles and 10 RBI. Two out, eighth inning. Pitcher spot Coleman and McGee do up for the Cardinals in the ninth. Cabell in the center. McGee rides the Schwinn. And that retires the side, but not before the Dodgers tie this one up on a pass ball by Tom Nieto. One run, two hits, no errors. We go to the ninth, 3 3. So it'll be Tom Needenfewer, and he'll bat in the six hole. He's a five on the mound. One and one with the Dodgers in 85 with 16 saves, 29 games, and an earned run average of 130. It's not blown a save, but this is not a save situation. In four games, four innings, three hits, and four strikeouts. He hasn't pitched in five days. He got a one out or one inning save against the Cubs on July 14th in a 7-4 win. 21 pitches, a hit, a walk, and two strikeouts. 34 and two-thirds innings, 27 hits, five runs, earned runs, seven earned. Did I screw that one up? Seven runs, five earned. There you go. Read the stat sheet, Ron. One homer, and that came against the Astros on the 23rd of June. He has walked seven while striking out 36. St. Louis obviously setting up a pinch hitter here. And it'll be Spike Jor Spider Jorgensen. Mike, at 152, hitting 179 with an RBI as a pinch hitter. Overall, 5 for 33 with that one RBI. So Needon Fewer starts his outing, and that is ball four. So Avon De Jesus will come in to pinch run. Needon Fewer, a hard thrower, threw that fastball up on eye level on a 3 1. Tom is 26. Put some gas behind that fastball and is a fly ball pitcher. Here's Coleman. Vince one for four. A single. He has struck out twice. A run scored. And that came in the first following a steal a second. He drops one down. Sosha throws to Sachs for the out. So the sacrifice works, one out. The go-ahead run is to Jesus, and they're not gonna pitch to McGee. They'll set up the double play. So one out, first and second, three, three the score, and the Dodgers are hoping that Tommy Herr will be a better opponent than Willie McGee, who was leading the NL in hitting. Her one for four. He has driven in a run and struck out. DeJesus on second. If they can double McGee, they can get out of the inning. 
Sosha, Sachs, and Guerrero in the bottom of the ninth against the Cardinal Pen. Her slaps out one to short. Duncan, Sachs for one, Brock for two. It worked. And for all the times that you that intentional walk backfires, it didn't there, did it? Bill Campbell coming on to pitch. It's cardiac time, kids, at Dodger Stadium. 3-3 three, three in the bottom of the ninth. So Bill Campbell making his 29th appearance of the year. Yeah, he got the two. He has two saves and two wins and an earned run average of 281. 37 years old, a fastball pitcher, 85, and a ground ball pitcher. He has faced the Dodgers five times. Four and two-thirds innings, three hits, and a save. He last pitched six days ago against the Padres, not getting anything in a 3-2 win. He went one inning and got his three outs on seven pitches. 32 innings, 31 hits. Ten runs all earned. Three homers. He's walked eight and struck out 18. Sosha has owned the Cardinals. He is three for three today. And overall is 14 for 26. With three doubles and three RBI. That's a batting average of 538. In the right center, back goes McGee. One out. Needon Fewer can throw a second inning if needed. Be Clark, Landrum, and Pendleton if the game moves on. Sachs is one for three. Steve has singled and struck out. Right back up the box, Campbell throws to first, two out. So here's Guerrero. Three runs, seven hits, no errors for the Dodger or for the Cardinals. They've left on nine. The Dodgers, three runs, eight hits the error, and they've left on six. But remember the tying run for the Dodgers came on the pass ball by Nieto. PD is 0 for 1. Two out. Ball four, the winning run is on. A 3-1 fastball that missed low. Here's Dave Anderson. Dave is 0 for 2. An RBI, a walk, and a strikeout. Guerrero with speed, but we'll let Campbell decide what Pete's going to do. He does throw to first, which is why I did not steal. And Guerrero isn't going anywhere now. Clark holding him on. Two out, one on. Bottom of the ninth and a 3-3 three, three tie. Pitch to Anderson. Here's a ground ball to Campbell. Moves off the mound. Throws to first. Everybody, we got free baseball. Tribe fan has got overtime for work, and we got overtime for baseball. No runs, no hits, no errors. We go to the 10th. It's the Cardinals, 3. The Dodgers, 3. So, Fewer who would be due up fifth in the inning. We'll face Clark, Landrum, and Pendleton. Jack is one for four. He has doubled, scored, and struck out. Ground ball to third. Anderson has to go the long way, of course, and Clark is out. That's a bang banger, one out. Tito Landrum struck out his first time up. Came in the game for Andy Van Slyke in right field. More baseball. That's right. And Tom Wallace is going to pinch it. Not sure that was the right call, but I'm not managing the computer. Lawless at 292 and three RBI. 
in the 80s, he's hitting 333 as a pinch hitter. In the 87 World Series, Lawless was still on the bench in St. Louis. Comes in to pinch hit in one of those games at Bush. And hit a pinch hit home run. His only home run of the season came in the World Series. And if you look it up on YouTube, he bat flipped the snot out of that. It was a no doubter. But yeah, Tom Lawless and bat flip. It's great. Pitch from Needenfewer. Ground ball is short. Duncan across the way for the out. No, Duncan throws it away. Brock couldn't get it. It was a low throw, and it scoots in the dugout. So that's a second error. And Lawless moves up to second. Here's Pendleton. They'll pitch to him. One out. 0 for 3. A walk, a strikeout, and an RBI. Terry hits a ground ball that Sachs can't field. And it's the defense that has let the Dodgers down this afternoon. Steve just couldn't play it. And it's runners on the corners, one out. Outfield is in. Infield playing for two. Here's Ozzie Smith. He's 0 for 3. That's the third Dodger error. Sosha goes down to talk to Needenfewer. Tom says, just feel the damn thing. Ozzie in the shallow center. Landro coming in. Makes the catch. Will Lawless run? No. Not even Zeno would do that. No relation to Lucy. So that worked. Infield now, everyone back. Two out for Nieto, who's the reason why we're still here. So Lawless on third, Pendleton on first, and Nieto at the plate. And a 3-3 tie. Struck him out. Needing fewer, got out of it. He swung out one in the dirt, and Tommy does a fist pump in the dugout. No runs, no hits, and somehow, some way, those two errors don't hurt. Bottom 10, 3-3. Three, three. So it'll be Duncan, Landro, and Brock to face Campbell. And the Cardinals, I'm sure, have activity in the bullpen. I wonder if D. Scott Howard and Steeler Fan 33 are sharing that hyper... That paper bag to breathe into. Duncan, 0 for 4, is now going to be 0 for 5. Ozzy throws to first, one out. So here's Landro. Kenny, 1 for 4, with a triple and a run scored. Campbell winds and deals. Ground ball to the Wizards, second verse, same as the first, two out. And that'll do it for Campbell. Ken Daly will come in, and it will be a double switch. As Steve Braun will now bat ninth. Four and an eight. You got an ad? You resign to your fate. So lefty versus lefty, daily, 24th appearance, 6 and 1 with 5 saves. And an ERA of 130. Against the Dodgers, he's only thrown one inning. Two hits, a run it was earned, and struck out three. Oh. You got disconnected from the chat. Oh, okay. An earned run average of nine. He pitched, and that was last night. He still got the save. 28 pitch performance and a 6-4 win. One inning, two hits, a solo home run. 
and three strikeouts. So 27 and two thirds, 22 hits, five runs, four earned. That was his first home run allowed of the year. Hasn't walked anybody and struck out 29. So Brock, Marshall, and the pitcher spot. Now a two out here in the 10th. Cardinals have left on 11. Dodgers seven. And Brock draws the walk. So he is the winning run from Mike Marshall. Pitcher spot due up next. Marshall two for four. It was his solo shot in the sixth that made it a 3-2 game. So 55,000 plus here at Dodger Stadium. 74 degrees and calm winds. Daily winds and deals in the left, but that's not going to do anything. The band plays on. Coleman with the catch, and that will retire the side. More baseball, Dave. More baseball. No runs, no hits, and no errors. We go to the 11, 3-3. Three, three. So Ken Howell. I probably should double switch. Can I didn't do that? I don't think I can. Yeah, can't do that. So Ken Howell gets an inning. And if it's a quick one, I might just bat him to start the 11. Howell, one and four with four saves and an earn run average of 335. 28th appearance for the Dodgers, 25 years old, a fastball pitcher at 95. Four appearances against the Cardinals, and they have hit him hard. Three and two thirds, seven hits, five runs all earned. A walk and four strikeouts. He was 0-1 with an earned run average over 12. He hasn't pitched in a week, however. He beat the Cubs on July 11, 4-3. Two innings, 34 pitches, a hit, a walk, and three strikeouts. 40 in the third innings, 33 hits, 19 runs, 15 earned, three homers, 14 walks, and 38 strikeouts. Daryl Porter's come in to catch. So Porter at 286, two homers and 10 RBI. So Braun is fifth in the lineup, and Porter came in for Nieto, who, again, is the reason why Dave is watching me instead of Pickle Rick Girl. Pitch to Porter, struck him out. So a curveball got him looking at 89 on a full count. Here's Coleman. Vince is one for four. He is single, struck out twice, stole a base to start the game, and scored in the first about an hour ago. Howell deals, and Coleman draws the walk. So the Cardinals have the go-ahead runner on and one out for Willie McGee. Willie two for four. Homered in this game. The seventh scored, drove himself in, and was intentionally walked. Throw it a first, and Coleman is back. Well, we're going to do a futile pitch out attempt here. Coleman goes, Sosha throws, and that's 56. No, they got him! They got him! They pitched out, and Coleman lollygagged it, and Sosha threw a strike. And Coleman is retired. Steeler fan just kind of grabs D. Scott. How Don't be grabbing D. Scott Howard's drink, Steeler fan. That may not be a Budweiser, okay? Wow. They get Coleman on the pitch out. And there's two out and a one ball count to McGee. Got him. Howell does his job, and because he's got pitches left, he's going to start the inning. Swung on and missed. We go to the bottom of the 11th. 3-3. Three, three. Oh, do I pull him, or do I hit him, gang? 
It's Sosha and Sachs to follow. I guess I got a pinch hit for him. The ritual whiskey cursing and falling out of your seat to worry about his beer. Well, we're going to have switches all over the place. Daly's day is done. Bill Russell will pinch hit. Jeff Lottie is coming in to pitch for St. Louis. He is 2-2 two and two with 12 saves and an ERA of 284, making his 28th appearance. He's 29 years old. Fastball pitcher 89 and a standard pitcher, which in California or the West Coast, standard means Chevron. And there are about two of you who get that joke. Against the Dodgers, he has been hit hard. Two and two-thirds inning, six hits, three runs all earned, a walk, two strikeouts, an 0-1 record, and an ERA at 10-13. He did, however, pitch last night. He retired one batter on eight pitches. 25 and a third innings overall. 28 hits. 10 runs, 8 earned. He's given up two home runs. Eight walks and 25 strikeouts. I'm told that flew right over Tribe fans' head in out of Los Angeles. Well, if you know what Chevron is, that's the old, that is the more modern name. Modern being, I think, even before D. Scott Howard's time. The more modern name of Standard Oil of California, I think. And those stations are now Chevron stations. Chevron is an oil company, that's right, and so is Standard. Bill Russell, as we go back to more things you don't hear about on a Fortnite stream, as a pinch hitter, 091 with two RBI. 227 with nine RBI overall. So the wheels have turned in this one as we start the bottom of the 11th. And Russell pops this one up. Ozzy on the grass, one out. So here's Sosha. Mike is three for four. Oh! Now, here's something I didn't know. Standard stations were company-owned. Chevron stations were independently owned, so they were a franchise. I did not know that. Pitch to Sosha. In the right, Braun. Two out. So here's Sack. Steve is one for four. He has singled and struck out. Now, this is the night day my wife wants to leave the house early. We're in a tie 3-3 game in the 11th, and there's no end in sight. Pitch to Sachs. Right back to Lottie over to first, and the band plays on. We go to the 12th. we got to bring in a new pitcher for the Dodgers. It's the Cardinals 3, L.A. 3. So we're down to Dennis Powell and Bobby Castillo. And since Castillo doesn't have to start till September 2nd, Bobby gets the call. He is one and one on the replay with a 277 ERA. He is making his 20th appearance. Robert is 30, an extreme fly ball pitcher. And that fastball tops out at 94. Fourth appearance against the Cardinals. Two innings, a walk, and three strikeouts. He went back-to-back -back days in St. Louis on the 6th and the 7th. Against the Cubs was his last appearance a week ago, so Friday. 14-7 win. He went inning in a third. 23 pitches, one hit, and two strikeouts. So he can go a ways. 39 innings, 23 hits, 13 runs, 12 earned, 5 home runs. He has walked 20 and struck out 33. So her is 1 for 5, Clark and Braun. And we have now given Steeler fan a seatbelt so he doesn't spill his beer and fall out of his seat again. Got him. 
a 2-2 curve to start the 12. Here's Jack Clark. Jack is one for five. He has doubled, scored, and struck out. <laughs> I don't have to make up all the airtime I missed while I was sick. I'm trying not to. Well, Yadier, Molina, and Albert Pujols be extreme fly ball pitchers for Action PC 2023? Yes. How you doing, our fan in Poland? Greetings to you, too. I'm doing well, thanks. Clark, one for five. Castillo, here's a fly ball to left. Guerrero files his nails, makes the catch, two out. So here's Braun. Steve is four for 30 on the replay. Yeah, I do remember you. 133 with three RBI. Guerrero, Anderson, and Duncan do it for the Dodgers in the bottom of the 12th. Davis now put away the body paints and is now making his own pickle, you know, pool floaties. Braun in the left, all right, rather. Marshall, and that will retire the side. The Dodger pen has done yeoman's work. We go to the bottom of the 12th, 3-3. Three, three. So Guerrero, Anderson, and Duncan. They face Lottie. Lottie is due up third if we get to the 13th. Guerrero is 0 for 1 with a walk. In the left, back goes Coleman. Way back to the wall, and that ball is gone. Guerrero walks it off, and the Dodgers win this one four to three. There is a dog pile at home plate. I can't show you the replay of it. Lottie just left too much of the plate, and all Vince Coleman could do is turn and watch it go. Maybe, just maybe, it would have hit the foul pole, finally. We're holding you up, Dave. But the Dodgers win this classic 4-3. to three. That was great, wasn't it? That, yep. Dodger fans are happy. You're wondering, Coleman has only been thrown out 11 times. Four runs, nine hits, three errors for the Dodgers. They moved to 55 and 32. They left on eight. St. Louis, three runs, seven hits, no errors. But that pass ball was huge. They go to 60 and 27. And they left on 11. The Dodger pen as a unit, five innings of no-hit baseball. They walked four. Castillo gets the win. Guerrero is your Digital Dice MVP. His solo shot walked it off in the bottom of the 12th. Spoiling a tremendous effort by Danny Cox and Bill Campbell. So Welch, no decision. Castillo moves to 2-1. and one. Tomorrow, don't forget. You can take a look at the leaders here. It'll be... The Jays in Oakland. And Oakland beat them yesterday. So that's the National League stats as we close play. Really quick, let's play the rest of the day in baseball for you, shall we? At Candlestick, the Cubs beat the Giants 4-1. to one. Ray Fontenot, 2-3. and three. Jim Gott, 5-9. and nine. Leon Durham, 2-2. Two for two. Texas beats the Tigers 4-3. Burt Hooten goes to 4-6. and six. Dan Petrie, 12-7. Darrell Evans, 2-4, for four, is 14th of the year. Reds beat the Phillies, and as soon as that pops back up again, Tom Browning, a three-hitter. Struck out seven with a walk. Bell, 1-3 for three with a homer. Tom goes to 10-6 in that 3-1 win. Kevin Gross falls to 3-5. and five. 
Oakland beats Toronto again, and you can notice on the bottom of your screen, first place in the American League East has changed. Don Sutton goes to 9-7. and seven. Jimmy Key falls to 8-5, and five, and Mike Heath goes 2-4 for four with his 8th of the year. Baltimore over Kansas City. That's the game I'm supposed to do tomorrow. Mike Boddicker goes to 10 and 8. Charlie Lieberant falls to 11 and 8. Rick Dempsey, 3 for 3. Montreal beats Houston in 11, 3 to 2. Gary Lucas goes to 4 and 0. Madden, that's Mike Madden, falls to 0 and 1. Hubie Brooks, 3 for 5 with a double. And yep, the margin is now 7 and a half. For St. Louis, it's 11 and a half. Boston beats California, so the Royals are take advantage of or don't the loss doesn't hurt. Well Cam Boyd goes to thirteen and four. Ron Romanic nine and six and he hears the secrets that you keep as you're walking and talking in your sleep. Dick Schofield three for three in his fifth of the year in the loss. Braves beat the Mets eight to four. Zane Smith goes to three and seven. Rick Aguilera three and three. Terry Harper two for four. He hits two home runs and drives in three. Milwaukee beats Seattle five to two. Teddy Higara goes to six and seven. Matt Young falls to six and eleven. Schrader three for four is second of the year. Yankees beat the Twins five to four, so the Yankees are now within three of the Red Sox. Joe Cowley goes to six and five. Garth Butcher or Mike Butcher falls to six and eight. Don Mattingly, two for four, is 13th of the year, drives in two. White Sox beat the Indians four to three. Tom Seaver goes to eight and nine. Burt Blylevin, suitcases packed for Minneapolis, falls to 13 and six. Pete Vukovic, or George Vukovic, two for three, is fifth of the year, and drives in two. And last but not least, because somebody has to be, the Padres beat the Pirates 11 to four. Andy Hawkins, eight and five. Jose De Leon, four and seven. Carmelo Martinez, three for five, three RBI, and two doubles. And we'll call an audible tomorrow. We will go to Toronto as they face the Oakland A's. So Kansas City and Baltimore will have to wait. And that, on July 20th, 1985, the 16th anniversary of man landing on the moon. The Boston Red Sox have slid in the first place. I don't believe that one either. So there you have it. Extra, extra baseball for you. Kind of nudge Dave awake. I'm Ron Juckett. We'll talk to you tomorrow for the Jays and the A's. Until then, have a good one, everybody. So long.